Excuse me, are you shaming Khloe Kardashian right now? What? No, I'm not. I'm not shaming her. I mean, she's just taller than Kylie Jenner. That's a fact. I'm not. I didn't mean to. <sighs> Let's just get out of this hot water, shall we? But if you truly aspire to master something, you have to make sacrifices. <laughs> Wilfer, I'm sorry. This is the only way. I'm sorry, buddy. Okay, not that kind of sacrifice. But it's like the great poet Big Sean says. I done sacrificed my own time. I done sacrificed my own mind. I done sacrificed the club life. I done sacrificed my love life. Wilfer, we need to get tickets to this fight because it's gonna be lit. <laughs> Wait, what? You're already going? Who are you going with? <laughs> Jake Paul personally invited you? Are you kidding me? You know what? I'm gonna call Deji right now and he's gonna invite me and then we're gonna be on opposing teams. How about that? You have reached Walmart customer service. Our operators are currently- Oh, uh, I think he's on his lunch break. Your carrier is dying. My carrier is dying. Oh shit, I'm I'm so sorry, man. Uh, here, have some water. Thank God this nice low gangster here told me that you were dying. Otherwise, I would have... Oh, wait a minute. He meant my career. Well, fuck this guy then. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm okay. I just... I just need to breathe a little bit. What's that? Don't let the numbers get to my head? Oh shit, the numbers. They're getting to my head. This should actually be a video game, by the way. And every YouTuber should play it. Legend has it that nobody has ever won the game. Damn it, I lost again. Why are you wearing a suit all of a sudden? Is this what I think it is? <laughs> but in the meantime, me and Wilfer have to go back in time a little bit. Are you ready, Wilfer? <laughs> Put your helmet on. Safety first. <sighs> it, it's not gonna make you look stupid, I promise. <laughs> Trust me, you're gonna look fine. Here, let me help you put it on, okay? There you go. Now who's a handsome boy? Wow. That's right, uh, this guy. Yeah. All right, let's get ready. Do you have the time machine? <laughs> and punch it. I still had hair back then, huh? This raises the stakes even higher, but still not as high as the stakes for my fight with Wilfer. Oh my god, that was a good punch! Was it? I don't know, I can't see anything from here. Well, of course you can't see, you're sitting behind a giant pillar. So let's take out our magnifying glass and take a look at the cringe fest that is Sherlock Paul. I'm sorry, what are you doing? <laughs> no, you can't be dressed as Sherlock. <laughs> because I'm dressed as Sherlock. You have to be Watson, I'm sorry. Oh, stop it. Please don't give me the puppy eyes. God damn it. Okay, fine. We can both be Sherlock. We tried, like, social media, we tried everything. No, you didn't try everything. Just call a lawyer. Wilfer, give me the goddamn yellow pages. There's thousands of lawyers in here. Pick one at random, call him up, and your sister is gonna be home by supper. <laughs> I mean, that's true. We wouldn't have this amazing show otherwise. But I'm just pointing out the facts here. If any of this were real, you would be the worst Sherlock in the history of Sherlock's. Even Wilfer is a better Sherlock than you. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm, I'm just saying you're a better Sherlock than Jake Paul. And, you know, I'm a better Sherlock than you. <laughs> Get the f*** out of here, there's no way you're a better Sherlock than me. I'd out Sherlock you any day of the week. <laughs> Okay, fair enough. Let's let the audience decide. We're both gonna post a picture on Instagram in the Sherlock outfit, and whoever gets more likes on their picture is the better Sherlock. This is my Instagram handle. This is Wilfer's Instagram handle. You decide who's better. Hop on over to Instagram and help us solve this dilemma once and for all. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that was pretty weak. <laughs> okay, we're getting there. Where is the envelope? Listen, I'd love to give it to you, but I'm a little tied up at the moment. <laughs> uh, that was a good one. The duck has it, doesn't he? <laughs> Where is the duck? 
You have no idea who you're dealing with. I said, where is the duck? First of all, he's a goose, you dumb looking son of a trash can. What did you say? And second of all, he's right behind you. Oh no! What the hell took you so long? <laughs> Listen, I'd love to sit here and chat, but we've got company. Stop right there. Uh oh, we'll fur punch it. Damn it. I, I thought, thought this was my cool moment. moment. You suck. Wilfred didn't give a shit, by the way. He was born for the spotlight. I'm like Doctor Strange in that monastery before he got his powers and he's the ancient bald chick. I'm like, teach me. And he's like, I said teach me, not punch the ghost out of me. Are you gonna put me back or... Wilfer and I tried to collab once. We tried the chubby bunny challenge and uh, it didn't quite work out. Okay, so I'm gonna start, are you ready? Chubby bunny. Okay, now it's your turn. Whoa, what the fuck? Spit it out. Spit it the fuck out, Wilfer. You're not supposed to eat an actual bunny. <laughs> That's just the name of the game. <laughs> <sighs> Listen, you can't both be telling the truth. One of you is lying, and we're gonna get to the bottom of this. You might be wondering why I'm holding two Wilfers today. Well, it all started a couple of weeks ago when Wilfer and I were working on a teleportation machine. Wilfer, we did it. I'm so proud of us. We finally finished the teleportation machine. The control panel shows everything's in order. We just have to test it now. Ready? <laughs> oh my god, Wilfer, it worked! We invented teleportation! Let's crack open that champagne, cause we're about to... <laughs> Hold on a second. Oh no... So you see, what happened was, we didn't invent a teleportation machine, we accidentally invented a cloning machine. I started suspecting this when every single night I would hear quacks from inside of the machine. But Wilfer was right there sleeping. Every night I'd go out there half asleep with bags under my eyes. I'd open the door and sure enough, there's another Wilfer right there staring at me as if to say, are you gonna do something about this? At first I made separate beds for every new Wilfer that came into the house, but it got to a point where, as you can see, this is no longer manageable. It's hard enough living with one Wilfer, but a thousand of these angry purple boys, it's a little too much. I can't feed this many beaks. Hey, get your goddamn feathers off of that, that's my pumpkin pie. Please take them away from me. So like, how was your trip to Los Angeles? You didn't tell us anything about it. We'll get to that, goddamn. Let me go get Wilfer first. Rise and shine, Wilfer, it's time to shoot a video. Um, this one will do, I guess? <clears throat> Everyone was going to be there, and Wilfer and I were prepared to make an entrance. Well, I mean, at least one of us was. I got the tickets right here, we're ready to go- What are you doing, Wilfer? Put your goddamn tux on, we're going to the streamies! There we go, much better. Now don't give me that look. If we're gonna be late, it's gonna be because of you, okay? So let's get right into the news. <laughs> But I don't know, man, this whole reboot sounds like a terrible idea. I mean, I'm, I'm kinda into it, I'm not gonna lie. Wait, what? No, you're you're supposed to hate everything. Your name is Hator for crying out loud. Since when do you agree with anything? I mean, I'm just saying, it's, you know, it's not a bad idea. What's that in your hand? What? No, nothing. <laughs> hey, give it back, come on! Let me take a look at this. Are you kidding me? Did you seriously audition for the role of Shrek? Oh, you know, I just, I was just looking for a little bit of work on the side. It's not like it means anything. I don't want to hear it. Wilfer, throw him in the dungeon with the others. Oh no, not the dungeon, not the dungeon. You tried to get out again, huh? <sighs> you should know by now, Hator. It's almost impossible to escape this place. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. <sighs> What are you doing, Hator? I'm telling you, I'm getting us out of here, Michael. Stop it, you're gonna get us in trouble again. Not this time, Skipper Dipper, cause this time I've got an ace up my sleeve. But you're not wearing sleep. Oh, okay. I don't think I wanna know where that phone has been. Yes, who am I speaking to? Oh, well why didn't you say so? Let's get to work then, boys. <laughs> now, speaking of sharing, Wilfer, did you remember to feed the prisoners today? <laughs> what? It's your turn. Sundays are your turn to feed the prisoners. <laughs> it's, it's fine. Just go check on them right now.
<laughs> Come on, Michael, they're on to us. Dig, goddammit. Oh, I'm trying, but I only have one arm. I don't care, you gotta be faster because they're gonna get us. <laughs> Why did she even put me in the front? <laughs> Skipper Dipper, take care of him. It'll be my pleasure. <laughs> Let's go, go, go before the other one comes. Wilfer, what's happening? I heard gunshots. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, stay with me. Stay with me, boy. Stay with me. God damn it. I'm gonna get them. I'm gonna get them, Wilfer, if it's the last thing I do. But first, I gotta figure out what to do with your corpse. Save you, buddy. I'm gonna miss you. I told you to bring the goose to me alive. <laughs> Which one of you pulled the trigger? Was it the little crybaby over here? <laughs> Please, no. Leave him alone. It was me. Oh, look at you taking responsibility for once. <laughs> Where was this heroic spirit when it mattered? All these muscles on you and you still need a gun to handle a little goose. Tch. You've ruined a very good investment opportunity for me. Perhaps I should take this shiny trinket of yours in return. <laughs> uh, uh, Touch that again and I'll rip off your f***ing arm. Good lord, let me go, you monster! Skip, remember the deal. Let him go. <sighs> My god, I'm dealing with animals here. Quite literally. <laughs> now leave. I've got a plan to rethink. As he was lowered in the ground, without a move, without a sound, the once loud, lively little fellow lay stiff and cold beneath the snow, with shaky hands a trembling shovel, refusing still to have him covered. So many fights yet unresolved, so much adventure unoccurred, so long a list of plans uncrossed. So long, my friend, you will be missed. Across the world, a thousand clones bowed down their little heads and mourned. In Paris, London, and Hong Kong, Brooklyn, Singapore, and Besançon. All with a little piece of him inside. All with a heavy heart tonight. A sad and empty, silent hall. The saddest Christmas Eve of all. But as the bell struck twelve o'clock, each of the clones started to honk. A little piece of him indeed, a thousand little pieces that still breathe, and as if they all had previously agreed, each little soul started to leave. And as the bell kept ringing high, each glimmer of light rushed to the sky, forming a dazzling glare so bright that struck the ground with all its might. And then? There was nothing in sight. Oh, Jesus, what happened? Oh no, Wilfer! <laughs> what the? <coughs> Wilfer, you're alive! <coughs> stop, stop, <coughs> God damn it! stop! I thought you were gone. I mean, not technically, because this is a script that I wrote, but like, I've missed you. <laughs> Come on, let's go inside. I thought I was gonna spend Christmas here.